I'm, I'm running as Peter Corun, uh, is who I'm running as. You know, I'm somebody who's uh, worked with both sides of, of the aisle. I've worked with Democrats and Republicans. I've worked with a Republican majority on our council. Now I'm working with a Democratic majority on our council. And so I'll work, work with both sides. But I've, you know, I've stood up. Uh, the only time I vetoed uh, something was when our, uh, our Democrats uh, uh, were looking for a, t a tax increase last, last year, and I vetoed that. Um, so I, you know, I'll stand up. Uh, I'll stand up for what I think is right, whether it's independent or independent of party politics. You're in a traditionally conservative county today. Mm -hmm. How do you um, how do you appeal to the voters down here who who haven't elected a Democrat out of the county in more than a decade, and the current governor is from here? How do you how do you appeal to the voters here? Well, obviously. Uh, uh, Gary Herbert is the, the, the hometown boy. I, I understand that. Uh, my goal is to um, you know, express who I am, let people know who I am, uh, let people know where I stand on issues, and uh, hopefully I'll get a significant number of voters who will, who will vote for me because of where I stand on issues and the values that I, I think I share with them as well. well. I think there's a lot of different issues where we, we stand up. First, I, I think I'm a, a practical leader on uh, ethics issues uh, and campaign finance reform. I've been supportive of those and in Salt Lake County we've uh, put those in place and you know, they, they've, they've worked. Um, also uh, have differences in terms of you know, how I would uh, lead on certain issues like the Snake Valley water issue where you know, we stood up and said we, in Salt Lake County we don't, uh, we don't support, support that. Also I think on the ra radioactive waste, the Completed uranium that's coming into the state as governor, I would have uh, worked uh, worked hard and made sure that uh, that it didn't come into the state bef before uh, you know we knew whether it was safe or not. I don't support uh, public funding for private education. Um, Is that vouchers? Vouchers. Um, I think we have a, a great uh, education system. We have a charter school system, which is a way where people can can uh, focus on a more specialized education if they like and so I think we have a great system and I think that's an area where you know where we we differ as, as well you know I think I'm a practical leader and and believe that you know you need a balanced approach to things um, you know in terms of economic growth I don't think you can cut your way to economic growth I don't think you can tax your way to economic growth I think you have to have a balanced balanced approach uh, for making sure that critical services are kept in place in Salt Lake County, we cut our uh, budget this past year by 20 percent. We reduced our, our number of employees by about 300 full-time full -time employees, probably 6 to 7 percent of the workforce. We did it without cutting critical services, and we did it without laying off a signif significant number of employees. If you put people out on the street, then government's going to be paying for them some other way. If you don't provide meals on wheels to seniors, then you're going to be paying for them in, in nursing homes. If you don't provide uh, some youth, prog youth programs for some, uh, in some areas uh, where kids need, uh, need some help, then you're going to see them in jail and pay for them anyway. So at some point you have to, you have to figure out what's critical and, and maintain those services. The correlation between education and ec economic growth is getting larger and larger. So we need to you know, make sure we have a good education system and have uh, you know, programs that are community colleges where if somebody loses his job they can you know, be retrained on a dime essentially and get back out and get into a, another field that is expanding. And I have a, a good story about somebody I know who uh, lost, lost his job and went back and, and got uh, a nursing certificate and now is going to get back into the, into the health care field which still has some growth. I, I support uh, the ethics initiatives. I've, I've signed the ethics petition. It uh, doesn't mean it uh, may not have some, uh, some things that need to be changed in it, but I think we need to send a strong message that uh, ethics uh, reform is important. We shouldn't have uh, undue political influence over our uh, public servants. Uh, we, should, uh, we should have an, an honest ethical government and everybody should be able to believe in their government and believe that it's doing the right thing for the citizens, not for those who have the biggest pockets. I think you need transparency. I also think you need uh, some limits. I mean, you know, taking fifty thousand dollars from somebody who, uh, or a company who provides services to the state, I mean, it doesn't. It's not going to bring a whole lot of faith from your citizens that 
uh, you're not being influenced by these companies. I think we should have limits uh, in, in campaign finance. We've done it in Salt Lake County, and it works. We've limited who can give, give money. We've limited uh, companies that do business with the county from giving substantial amounts of money. Uh, and, you know, it, it does definitely uh, limit the influence companies can have. 